Greg, I mean, a phenomenal debut. It's brilliant. It's mind bending. It's funny. It's twisty. Um, I, I, I just where did this come from from you? Because I don't want to give away too much of the premise or a, a, at all. Because what part of my enjoyment was watching it cold and not really knowing where this was going to go and 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 take off. And, and I assume that's been the experience for everyone who's seen this film so far. But where did you come up with this idea and and um, you know talk about you know making this your debut? Yeah, uh, it just kind of came from you know I love science fiction. Uh, I, I love this sort of like contained. Uh, subgenre of films, and uh, I, I, you know, I was just ideating on like, what if there are eight people uh, that were um, at a party, and one of them had a suitcase, and there was a sort of sci-fi, fantasy type of thing that happened with that, and I just sort of ideated on that for a while, and that sort of birthed the the general plot of the movie, and uh, you know, at the core, the movie is sort of about like the male gaze and the effect that sort of like the over of media and like our consumption of that, like what that has, like, like how that affects relationships. And that's just something I've thought about a lot in my adult life. So I, yeah, just kind of combine those two things. I mean, that's what's so excellent about this movie that it, even though it has this off the wall sci-fi premise and these kind of thriller, psychological horror elements, that core relationship drama is, is there. And, and James, that's really evident in, in your character. I mean, uh, how did you know? How did you tap into this role? And and I mean, <laughs> frankly, for both of you, this is these. There's a lot going on, a lot of layers here. Um, but you know, how did you, how did you guys keep your head from spinning off? Yeah, as man. I mean, when, when Greg first <laughs> sent me the script, I was like, "How is he going to pull this off?" It's so it's it's like a Rubik's cube of just complexity. And then I saw his work, and it gave me full confidence in his ability. I mean, for me, this movie is about how much we compare ourselves to everyone else and how we yeah. sometimes, the last person we want to be is ourselves and ultimately learning how to fully commit to who we are. And, and so there's this wonderful emotional depth to, to what is really a fun thrill ride of a movie but has immense depth to it as well. Yeah, and, and and David, for for you, like I mean, there again, there's a lot going on in your in your character that isn't re revealed until you know much later. But you know, so how do how did you approach that challenge and knowing what you know, you know, about your character? Uh, that is a hard one to do. Yeah, I think uh, uh, just finding the various uh, layers to it and trying to weave them together and trying to, um, you know, make sure that there was uh, um, something tangible that, that, that people could grab onto without it, uh, with, 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 without giving, you know, too, without giving them too much too quickly. We had a week of rehearsal beforehand and we, uh, I would say we probably did the most work on David's character uh, because his, uh, he's the most enigmatic character of, of, of the bunch so it was invaluable Forbes, I mean, we, what, a, what yeah. a great name too <laughs> <laughs> just in this i mean um did you know all the twists going in like were there secrets or like you guys read the whole script and kind of had the whole idea or were some of you even in the dark or how, how did that yeah they were in the script but it felt like what it meant continued to evolve as we deepened what we were doing through rehearsal and whatnot I mean, the cool thing about this movie is that it is so fun and mind bending, but there's, Greg has written characters that feel very real and grounded. So a lot of our work in the prep for this movie was just like ta sharing our personal lives and, and connecting to them in, in as real a way as possible. Yeah, I mean, I think, th th frankly, this movie made me want to be a better husband as well. And <laughs> like, it, I mean, it's it's such a great it, it, I, I feel like there's a, a lot of a lot of dudes out there who will see mm. this and see some uncomfortable sides of themselves in it. I mean, why was that you know so important for you to dive into where some of that inspiration come from or picking apart those different those different tropes of? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I like honestly just going through life and just being in relationships and, you know, like. To be candid, you know, like I, you know, we're, I think as men, boys, we're introduced to porn at like a very young age and it's normalized. And if you just look at uh, like a lot of media, like so much media is sexualized from billboards, fashion ads now on like social media, etc. And it's just sort of like this thing that we don't really 
think about that much and like it's sort of considered taboo to, to, to talk about. I mean like porn is a billion dollar industry. So it, it, I've just thought about how it's affected my relationships and um, how sometimes I've like ignored people for like uh, things that aren't like really real and um, how I don't want to do that anymore. And so I, you know, I just, it's um, something I just thought we could talk about in the movie. And that's only been exacerbated in some way because of the social media influencer right. culture. I mean, it, yeah, intertwining those, what, what were some of your challenges there? Uh, you know, I mean, I think it's just like a pretty natural c connection, yeah. just like, like the idea of uh, getting likes, sort of like getting likes based on body aesthetics, uh, the, 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 the idea that you're sort of, people present this sort of like artifice um, on social media, mm. uh, and then by, by consuming that artifice, it makes people desire something that's not even real. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, James was there, you know, what, what were your challenges playing that type of role, this guy who is a, looks like a nice guy on the surface, but has these, you know, uh, yeah, these issues and is kind of feeble and really can't commit to this relationship. The difficult part of playing the role was not playing it as a character, but looking at the parts of myself that I'm uncomfortable with and that I don't like and really trying to express those parts of myself and admit those parts of myself through this story so that it's not just some character. It's going like, I, I look around or I have you know, problems being in one place, you know, like I'm seeking validation or whatever in the same way this guy is, you know, and, and that's where this got really exciting for me was it, it wasn't just like, let's play these kooky characters that these are real people and, and Greg is unearthing these parts of our, these kind of ugly parts of ourselves that we all have and, and, and doing that through this great story. Okay. Um, it, Greg, I mean, you, your background is kind of like doing marketing materials yeah. for, for Netflix and now you've been bought by Netflix. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. have the biggest sale of the festival so far. Um, what does it mean to come for full circle and how, how did that work prepare you for, for this feature? Uh, well, the full circle, I mean, we, we literally just found out so that it, <laughs> uh, I haven't really processed it, but I mean, it's awesome. Um, and you know, like I, I've, I, I have a lot of love for Netflix cause they've essentially paid for my existence for like the past six <laughs> years. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I, like directing short form stuff, um, especially sort of like higher concept stuff with these Netflix promos. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, directing anything is fantastic practice, you know, like shooting anything is, is just, you know, great learning. And I, I think like on the, on on the Netflix stuff, it's just, you know, learning how to work with people, sort of uh, learning how to sort of uh, mediate other people's visions and, and uh, you know, into my own. But I also have handled most of the post-production on all the Netflix stuff. Um, I've sort of been pitching myself as a director who can edit and handle all the, all the visual effects. And that has helped me in, um, you know, in, in coming up with uh, efficient ways to execute a bunch of the stuff in this film. Okay. And I mean, and any other things that you want to leave people with, like, just because I think it's, I, I had an idea that this was going to be interesting, a, a, a mind bending film. But once I really sat down and really understood where this was going, I, I really had no, I was not prepared as, as much as it is. So what, what do you guys want to leave for, for audiences? And especially knowing it's going to streaming where it's going to have a humongous audience. I, I'm sure you want to have it in a theater and, and as well to have that collective experience. I, I mean, I'd say like get a bunch of friends yes. together who know as little about it as possible. Turn off your phones <laughs> and lock in and prepare for a really, really fun time.